laid back moves, sky above, sand below, good vibrations, feeling mellow. program you have? The one that sets you up with girls? Yeah. <laughs> it stinks! <laughs> well, Sly, it only works if you're honest. Sylvester Winkle, six foot two, Olympic athlete known on three continents as Babe Master. <laughs> Hi, Dad. I'm over here. Hey. 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 Right. Whoa, Mr. Smith. It's nice to finally meet you. I'm Mark Winkle, Sly's cousin. My sincere condolences. <laughs> So do you always dress so casual for a day at the office? Well, my office is the Pacific Ocean. I'm a marine biologist. Yeah, he's one of those guys who sits around trying to figure out what dolphins mean when they go... Ee -ee! Sly, if a dolphin said that to me, I'd wash his blowhole out with soap. Dad, I got your dinner for you. It's your favorite grilled mahi-mahi with peanut butter. Yeah. Are you sure you can't stay and eat with us? No, no, no. no, 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 no I do have to get back to work, but don't forget, you and I are going surfing this weekend. Cool. I can't wait. Hey, and you and your dad spend a lot of time together, huh? Yeah. I love my dad, but sometimes I worry that he's lonely. Well, maybe you could fix him up. What? You think the perfect woman's gonna come waltzing right through that door? Hi, I'd like some grilled Mai Mai with a peanut butter, please. But she wasn't waltzing. Mark, rev up that compatibility program. I'll get all her vital statistics. <laughs> what are you gonna do? Walk over and say, hi, are you single? Please, give me some credit. I'll be more subtle than that. Hi, are you married? <laughs> her name is Ariel, and she's perfect for my dad. She's a marine biologist, she surfs. Heck, even Mark's computer says they're perfect. Give me a break. There's no way a stupid bunch of microchips can predict the thump factor. <laughs> The thump factor, how hard your heart thumps when Mr. Fabulous walks into the room. I know what you mean. We don't need a compatibility test to tell us we're perfect for each other. Hey, guys, I did your compatibility tests. Oh, oh, I don't <laughs> Jake and Lorena, according to this, you are totally wrong for each other. You have nothing in common. What, what are you talking about? Oh. Well, uh, Will, what about me and Sam? Are we compatible? Yeah. Well, you two make them two look like Romeo and Juliet. Well, computer or not, I gotta figure out how to get my dad and Ariel together. He hates being set up. So, invite him to Sharky's at the same time she stops in for lunch and let the thump factor do the rest. Oh, that's perfect! Hey, 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 now, just be sure not to mention a humpback whale. He'll bore the poor woman to death. <laughs> I can't stall him all afternoon. She'll be here any second. Okay. Hey! I got you dessert. Take your time. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, sweetie, but uh, why don't you eat it? I should get back to work. Mm. Uh, don't go! There's a traffic jam! Traffic yeah, jam. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No problem. I rode my bicycle. Well, that's where the traffic jam is, on the bike path. <laughs> oh, yeah, there was um, a horrible paperboy accident. There were paper cuts everywhere. Yeah, uh, oh, the humanity. <laughs> no problem. I'll just take a surface street. I'll <laughs> see you tonight, huh? Humpback. Did somebody say humpback? Uh, yeah, we were uh, talking about humpback whales for a... Uh... Science report. Really? Well, I can tell you a few things. Uh, well, actually, it's slide report. Yeah, but, but, but I did it for, um, Tony. Tony, I'm glad you came to Hello. me. 
<laughs> Did you know that the humpback whale's jaw expands to strain food? <laughs> Why, well, I had no idea. You know, most people think that, that whales survive on plankton, but they really survive on krill. Very tiny sea creatures. Dad, uh, I think Tony has work to do. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes, I do. Oh, lots of work. Oh, hey, no problem. I'll, I'll just tell you while you work. You know, the humpback actually sings. I've got a CD you could borrow. Oh, really? Now, what's that, Shamu Unplugged? <laughs> Very funny, Tony. Shamu was a killer whale. I'm talking about humpback whales. We've got to shut him up or he'll never notice her. <laughs> Excuse me, uh, are you talking about humpback whales? Oh, no, she's going to think he's a total nerd. Well, actually, I, I was. Are you familiar with him? Oh, there is nothing more spectacular than a humpback leaping clear of the water and then crashing into the waves. Paul Smith. Hi, I'm Ariel Lang. Um... I'd drop in. So how's it going with your dad and Ariel? Great. But he's spending so much time with her, I'm starting to miss him. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Enough chit-chat. Let's talk about Tony. <laughs> Ever since Mark's computer said we weren't compatible, we fight about everything. Sorry, Sam. Not tonight. Dad and I always watch Monday Night Football together. Football? I'm out of here. <laughs> Hello? Oh, hi, Lorena. No, I'm staying home with my dad tonight. No, we didn't go surfing. He was with Ariel. No, I don't think Jake's a dillweed. <laughs> okay, see ya. <laughs> must be Jake or Tony. <sighs> and Tiff, I definitely need to talk about Sam. You got a sec? Oh, sure, Tony. Come on in. My dad's about to show us humpback slides. Oh, Ma, would you look at the time? I'll see you tomorrow. Oh, man. Look, Jake, I can't talk. I'm sorry that you and Lorraine are... Oh, hi, Ariel. I'll get him. Dad, phone! Hello. Hi. I was just getting ready. No problem. I'll pick you up in, say, 15 minutes. Great. Should I wear the tie with blue whale or finback? Going out? Uh-huh. Ariel's going to take me to a restaurant that... It's football night. You forgot. I'm sorry, honey. I'll make it up to you. I promise. OK. Great. The blue one. Thanks, honey. out about people on your computer? What kind of things? Oh, anything. I want you to dig up everything you can about Ariel Lang. Tiff, what's going on? <sighs> Ariel is driving me nuts! She treats my dad like a little kid. Oh, Polly, you're so funny. Oh, Polly, you're so smart. His name is Paul. Paul! I, uh, pitied a poor tomato that gets between you and your dad during the Super Bowl. It's more than football, Tony. Last night, she cooked for him with salt. Oh, no. Not salt! Ah! <laughs> Don't you think you're overreacting just a teeny-weeny bit? Come on, Tiff. Jake's right. Your dad's just in love and having fun. Give him a break. All right. Just let this sea serpent, salt-eating, home-wrecking Miss Smith wanna be move right in and just take her dad away. <laughs> It's just been Tiff and her dad all these years, and all of a sudden, a stranger barges in and sucks up all his time? Oh, no, no, hold on. A week ago, she's trying to fix these two up, and now she's jealous? Jake Summers, you disagree with everything I say. No, I don't. You may be crazy. Well, not as crazy as Sam makes me. Oh, yeah? Well, when I'm with you, I want to go... <laughs> You know what? 
cuz. I think your computer's right. They are not compatible at all. Well, I wish my dad and Ariel had that problem. <laughs> oh, great. The Little Mermaid. I hope you never get your voice back, fish girl! <laughs> For Sly Gore, it's much scarier. <laughs> Why are you a hunchback? Don't be stupid. I'm not a hunchback. I'm a humpback. <laughs> Sly Gore, who is that? No, I prefer Dr. Ariel Stein. <laughs> what is going on here? Rub my hump and I'll tell you. <laughs> We're doing bad scientist stuff! Daddy! Your father is about to have his brain transferred to the body of the fish. I knew there was something wrong with you. It's bad enough you take up all of his time. I won't let you do this to my father! No problem, honey. As a shark, I'll never sleep. I'll have even more time for Ariel. Is not falling. Oh, it's Paul! And let him go, you creepy Frankenstein wannabe! Oh! I say? All the girls dream about me. <laughs> Tiff, Tiff. Oh! Get away from me, you creepy little humpback! <laughs> Must be some other sly. I'm sorry, guys. I was having a nightmare about Ariel. Well, that's what we wanted to talk to you about. Yeah, we did some snooping around. We found out everything we could about her. Well, yeah? What'd you find? Well, she has allergies. <laughs> and a police record. It. I knew it. Wait till my dad hears this. <laughs> Wait, Tiff, we didn't finish. Yeah, come on. Hey, Tiff! <laughs> dad, I have to show you something. What? Is something wrong? Don't talk to me, you crook. You felon, you loosey-goosey. <laughs> what? <gasps> Drop the axe, sister. I have the proof right here. This is your police record. In fact, she has not one, but two... parking tickets? <laughs> and she hasn't paid either of them! Tiffany, what's going on? Hi. Hi. Where you been? Out. Walking. Look, Dad, I'm sorry I went a little crazy. No, a little crazy is your Uncle George. Uncle George? I don't have an Uncle George. Ah, you know what I mean. Your Aunt Gladys, who thinks she's your Uncle George. <laughs> Look, Tiffany, I'll... Be honest with you, I'm not real happy about the little stunt you pulled. I always thought when one of us had a problem, we could talk about it. I'm sorry. I was just so upset. When you spend so much time with her, I never see you anymore. Well, it's going to stop. Ariel suggested that we not see each other anymore, and I... I agreed. Really? She wanted to break up? Well, after you left, we talked, and she doesn't want to come between us. 
And you're okay with that? Well, I'm not crazy about losing her. But since your mother left, I've tried to be both mom and dad. It hasn't been easy. But I never wanted you to miss out on anything because you only had one parent. I didn't. You're the best. You are more important to me than anything. Besides, it won't be long before you go to college and... Well, maybe then it'll be a better time for me to find a relationship. Come on. I've got a quart of strawberry ice cream in the kitchen. That sounds great. Hey, Tiff, what's up? Well, my dad and Ariel split up. They split up, too? Well, no big deal. He'll get over it. Eventually. But I'll bet he's miserable right now. Well, it sure seems better than you guys. What happened? Who started this? He started it! <laughs> I just want you to know that I'm sorry things didn't work out between you and my dad. I guess it just wasn't meant to be. He really loves you, you know. Yeah, I know. You two have something very special. I just don't think there's room for me, too. Well, I'm sure you'll both find someone else. I hope so. I really thought your dad and I might be it. That special spark is so hard to come by. Thump factor. Sometimes, even the thump factor isn't enough. Oh, thanks. Oh, by the way, in case you were wondering, I paid those parking tickets this morning so I could leave town with a clear conscience. <laughs> You're leaving? I follow the dolphins. They're heading south, so is my boat. Take care. Hey, guys. I figured it out. This time, I know who you're really compatible with. We already know. Yeah, keep your computer, Mark. We'll handle this ourselves. Thump, thump, baby. Ooh. Now on, no one but you and me decides what's best for us. No. I think I made a big mistake. Good evening, everybody. I would like to dedicate this first song to the most important guy in my life. My dad. Sometimes I hold you much too close Love you so much I just can't quit it Don't even ask me to Don't even ask me to Don't even ask me to let go
when you need sweet and soft I'll be your little girl Everyone needs to know I'm sorry, Dad. I was being selfish. You two are a perfect match, and you should have had the chance to try to work it out. Just the two of you. Just the three of us. Hey.